Hi, I have Jacob Meister back on my show. Jacob, thanks for coming in again. Thank you, Lee. So Jacob's running for Cook County Clerk of the Court, which is one of the largest court systems in the U.S. Uh, one of the things that you've talked about before is bringing about justice and access to resources necessary. Uh, what would you do to help uh, those incarcerated have access to to the information they need to defend themselves? Well, you know, access to justice is one of the principal themes of my campaign because as clerk of the circuit court, I'd be presiding over the second largest court system in the country as chief operating officer. And as we're moving towards, uh, for instance, electronic filing, there's efficiencies that are achieved. But at the same time, if those for those people, who aren't represented by a lawyer in the system, all of a sudden they find themselves where they used to be able to mail in their court filings, all of a sudden they're required to file electronically into a system that's very bureaucratic and hard to use. So as a result, those individuals, maybe they don't have internet access, they don't know, they don't have a computer, they don't know how the electronic filing system works. Mm -hmm. um, they're denied this access to justice unless they travel down to a courthouse during business hours um, and stand in line sometimes for an hour or two just to get assistance to file into the system. One of the things that I will do as clerk is provide computer filing kiosks in every library in Cook County so that uh, individuals who are faced with a lawsuit that they have to file a response can do it on evenings and weekends. They don't need to take time off of work. They can go down and we're going to be training reference librarians who understand the electronic filing system and will be able to provide assistance showing individuals how they can upload into the the system so that people That's can correct. file and access and access 24 7. So you'll be partnering with other governments that are there the city of Chicago, other yeah. municipalities to actually train their staff so that if someone doesn't know they'll they'll have the convenience of going to their local library instead of having to take off work to come downtown. Correct, correct. Or to, yeah, I mean, it, and that's, you know, we've got hundreds of libraries in this county and they're all potentially points of access to our justice system. And as we move to an electronic system, we can increase the number of points of access and start, and start allowing people in their own neighborhoods to access justice. And, and that's really important. What, what about those incarcerated that are in, in, in the Cook <clears throat> County um, jail and, and whatnot. Is yeah. there access to resources? Absolutely. There a well, absolutely. You know, one of the big problems we have are that the Illinois Department of Corrections um, has around 600 prisoner appeals pending in Cook County uh, alone, where prisoners appeal their convictions. You know, mm -hmm. and they maybe they're they're trying to overturn the conviction or change the sentence. And right now, records access is so limited that some of those prisoners' appeals have been pending for more than a year without the clerk's office being able to get the record to the appellate court, and the appellate court can't do anything without a record. That is a travesty. So accessing justice is important. I want to have a robust case management system mm -hmm. so that those records are accessible and can be assembled and, and that we're keeping complete files electronically so that they can be transmitted up to the appellate court uh, and, and won't be getting lost. Great. Thanks for being on the show. This is really helpful. Well, thank you for having me, Lee.